Hey, um, hope everything is okay. I, I just thought that, you know, you wanted to see what I had. So, you know, good idea was maybe just to record essentially, you know, what I have. So I have these boxes, uh, and it's a 7.62 millimeter and 13 um, cartons of the uh, uh, ammunition rounds, you know. You can get them at uh, Miller's, Miller's Store Plus or something like that. You know, it cost me like, what, I think the price is still here. $7.99. So, you know. Uh, that, that's what I have here on the outside. I have a, a switch. It's a high amp switch from a 12 volt, you know, cutoff, um, and that's essentially to prevent arcing when you connect the battery into the into the bicycle. Uh, the type of connectors that I'm using are the Dean Steep Locks connectors. Um, they're you know these are RC type of connectors. They they handle a lot of uh, current discharge, and they're very reliable. Um, and you know, so essentially, right now everything is connected. So, you know, when, when I switch this, I complete the circuit on the inside, and I'll show you. Um, but essentially, you know, 36 volts. Um, uh, you know, when they're fully, fully charged, you know, it's 4.2 volts times 10. Um, so it's 42 volts coming out of here, but they quickly settle down around 30, um, uh, what, 3.8 volts, so 38 volts, about constant. So I'll show you what you know what it looks on the inside. All right, so here, here it is. I'm gonna let's see. Let's set this here. So, so that's what it looks like. So, you know, here I have the four batteries, the four five um, S batteries, um, and I'm gonna break this out. Um, and I'll, I'll walk you through it. After I'm done with it. Right, let, me pull, let me pull two of these, these guys out. All right. So this is the battery, right? So this is a Turney G, it's a Turney G, um, 500 milliamp hour battery. Um, it's a five cell battery, right? And I have two of these guys here. And I have two of these guys here taped together. Um, you know, taping, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter, the taping of, of them together. It's just, you know, it, it was easier for me. Um, so this battery is rated at what? 25 C discharge. So, so the 25C or the C rating, it means the amount of discharge, the, the, the discharge that you can take, the, 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 the discharge rate that these batteries can get. So a 1C battery means that you can, you can discharge that battery safely at 5 amps per hour, and the battery is going to be okay. So if it was a, a 2C, it means 2 times the capacity. So if the capacity is 5C, 2 times C is 10. So that means that, that, that a 2C battery for this specific, a 5 amp hour battery, means that you can safely discharge that battery at 10 amps per hour, all right? Um, and, you know, in, in this case, a 25C, 25C times 5, whatever that number is, I cannot do math in my head right now, but that is the, the safe discharge rate of, of them, all right? So I have one, I have one, two, three, four, right? And you, you'll notice that these two batteries are connected together. So this is the first... Um, set so this is a parallel connector so both of these batteries are hooked up together when you connect in parallel the rate the the capacity of the battery actually increased so now this is still at 18.5 volt battery but now instead of being a 5 amp hour because i have two of them together now i have a 10 amp hour battery all right that means that actually the rating capacity of this battery has doubled so, so now instead of being a 25C battery, now it's a 50C battery because they're connected in parallel. Half of the current is coming from this guy, the other half is coming from the other guy. So, so, so when I'm pulling, when I'm pulling, when I'm pulling two amps out of this battery, I'm actually pulling one amp of this one and one amp of that one. And they're always in equilibrium, all right? Because they're connected together. Now, these guys right here are the balancing ports, all right? So each of these batteries is composed of of uh, this is a five cell battery so there are five five lipo cells in here connected in series all right each battery is uh, 3.8 volts nominal voltage so so when you multiply that times five that's where you get the 18.5 um, volts uh, that, 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 that you get for for each of the batteries so here I have a when, when you look at this this is a 5s 2p battery all right this is a 5S 2P battery. And the same goes for this guy right here. So you see these two guys are connected in parallel, all right? So, so then 
because I need 30, you know, around 37, you know, 38, uh, 36 volts. When I connect these two guys together, I get, um, if I connected in series, which is what I have right in the inside right here, you'll not be able to see it, but um, essentially it's a series connector. So when you connect in series, so here you have, you have the positive and the negative, and then you have the positive and the negative of the other one. What you do, essentially, is you connect, you know, you have the positive and the negative and the positive and the negative. So what you do when you connect in series is you connect, you bridge the positive and the negative of one of, of you know, of one of the sets of the battery. So essentially you have the negative side and then you have the positive side and then these two guys are bridged together. And that's essentially what, what I have inside here. Plus a, a how do you call it? A, um, a fuse, you know, I have a car fuse. This is a 30 amp fuse, all right? But remember, this is rated for 12 volts. So if you multiply the 12 volts times the 30, that's the amount of watts that this fuse is gonna allow, all right? However, this amp rating is gonna actually be lower because of the fact that this is a 36 volt battery system, all right? So, so you know, 12, it's actually three times smaller. So in reality, this fuse is only gonna let past 10 amps of current at any point in, you know, like uh, roughly 10 amp of current on any point in time, all right? Um, you know, you're not gonna be able to see it, but essentially, you know, it's a simple, it's a simple, it's a simple, um, uh, how do you call it? Um, it's a simple switch. You know, you have here on the negative, you know, I, I go to the fuse and then the negative keeps, you know, I have one connection here for, for one of the batteries. It goes down to the switch, the switch interrupts. Um, and then the negative keeps going on outside, and then the positive side, um, you know, I have it here, all right? Um, so that's about it, you know, like they go, they go in here. I put them, I put both battery sets in here, and I charge here, and I discharge here, you know, I don't take them, you know, I don't, I don't usually take them out of, of the case. Um, I'm just taking it out because I'm showing. All right. So this is this is their own setup. I, I'm I'm disconnected. I'm disconnected right now. You know I have I have my two, you know my two, my five S two P battery, my five S two P battery. So they're connected in parallel right now. All right. So so let's assume that the batteries are 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 you know like to, uh, I'm gonna they're charged right now. I'm gonna discharge them. I'm gonna hit them. So essentially, you know, what I do is I connect one here. And the order really doesn't matter. Um, connect one, then I connect the other, you know. So now I have, I have the two parallel batteries connected in this in this circuit right here which make them in series so now instead of having i have 18.8 10 amps 18.8 volts 10 amps serialized together now i have a big battery that's a 37 volts 10 amp battery right um and that's about it so let's say i connect it you know i use bungee cord this bungee cord to to hook, to hook them up you know to the rack of the bicycle um, so now let's just say that I, I finished riding and I need to charge. Um, and this is very, very important. To charge, you know, it, it, uh, you don't need a BMS. I mean, a BMS is just to make sure that, you know, uh, you don't do something wrong. And I've done it many, many times. So the first thing, the first thing you do is, you know, you unplug the serial, all right? You unplug the serial connector. So now the batteries are all, all alone. And then you have your smart charger. You know, this is a... Uh, Sky Charger B6 AC, you know, you can connect it either, you know, via electrical power or you can get a 12 volt um, power supply and, um, and connect it to the battery. However, this is the second part of the, the purchase that I was telling you about. This is a parallel um, harness, a 6X parallel harness. And this is a 6X parallel harness uh, balancing lead, um, a parallel harness um, balancing lead, right? What happens is that each of these guys, the cells have to be balanced together. So you cannot have a battery, a cell that's, uh, let's say, 2 volts and the other ones are 3 because that's going to damage the battery. So, so with these guys, um, and this is where the, B, you know, this is, this guy right here is the BMS when you're charging. It actually monitors each of the battery cells 
and make sure that each of the battery cells is it's it's balanced within each other. And you know, and what I do is I essentially, you know, I'm not going to connect them, but um, I connect. You know, these two are in parallel, so I connect them here. All right, so I, I connect these two guys right here, and then the other two I connect them also here, in parallel. All right, so so essentially, uh, using two of them. This all these four batteries are connected together, are connected in parallel. All right. Um, then I go and I connect the balancing leads. All right. So one, you know, I have I have six, but so I bend two, so I only use four, and I connect those four together. Right now, when they're connected or in parallel, what this charger right here sees is one big battery. All right, one big battery. Um, it's going to be an 18.5 an volt battery, a 5S battery that has a capacity of 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's going to have a, a 20 amp hour capacity. All right. Um, in order to connect, you know, in parallel, you have to make sure there are a couple of rules you need to follow. You know, the battery voltage need to be about the same. You know, you cannot have a, you know, uh, let's say the voltage on this one. Um, per cell, it's uh, 3.8 um, volts, and the voltage on that on this guy, it's a uh, 4.1. So this is nearly discharged, nearly charged. You cannot connect in parallel these two because what's going to happen is once you connect in parallel these two, current is going to flow from this very very fast from this battery to that battery charging it. All right, and you don't want that. You want the batteries to be about the same. And if you follow the, you know, if you follow. If you if, if if you manage your batteries correctly, they're never gonna go out of sync on this unless they're broken, you know, in the inside, um, and uh, uh, they're never gonna go out of balance. But however, you know, I always I always balance them. So essentially, you know, you connect you connect all the batteries together, like I said, and then you know this goes into here, and then you connect the charger. You tell the charger, yeah, this is an eighteen point five volt five S battery. You use the charging rate. Um, um, the maximum capacity that this guy can do is uh, two and a half amps, amp hours. So you can you can do a quick calculation if the if the batteries are nearly discharged. Um, let's say at two amp, uh, this is at two amps, and this is a twenty a twenty amp hour battery. You know it's gonna take what um, two? It's gonna take ten hour ten hours to actually charge this battery at two amps, um, two amp hours. If 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 this charger had the capacity of charging at twenty amp hours, then you would charge this in an hour. You know that that's essentially that's essentially how it goes. Um, so once you're done, the charger is gonna flash. It's gonna beep. It's gonna tell you I'm done. You I always unplug first the balancing leads. You make sure they are unplugged. You know that you don't have them parallel. Um, and then and then you break the parallel connections here. So now they're done. Um, what ha happened to me before is that I have them parallel. You know with the parallel lead and then I connect them in series. And when you do that, you short circuit. You essentially, you either get a big puffy, you know, a big arc, which you can see it has happened here. Um, you get a big arc and the connectors melt because, you know, you have, you have closed the circuit and, you know, now you're doing a short circuit. And so when you're done, you know, you essentially connect. Essentially connect here. Put them in there. Here, over there, fit my battery. Make sure all the cables on the inside. And this is this is good because you know they kind of have a hard case in case of a chemical rundown reaction. You know, they, they they're gonna start burning. You know, they, they, everything is self, it's containing here. Um, so you're not gonna have that problem, you know, of burning. Some people have um, actually recommended me to make a vent hole in case they explode or something. I haven't got into that. Um, but let me show you a little bit more in detail, you know, what I did here. Um, this is a conduit, you know, like a, a weatherproofing conduit. Has a rubber stopper there, so I just, I made. And then I made a hole here enough so that I could pass this through two holes there. And I mean, that's about it. I mean, it's really, really simple. Um, so yeah, that's that's about it. I mean, it's 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 if you follow the basic instructions, you know, never charge them, never uncharge them below uh, say 3.7 volts. I never do that because uh, if if you look at a at a charge ratio discharge uh, voltage versus uh, versus discharge um, chart, you're gonna see that most of the capacity of this battery 
it's drained by the time the battery hits 3.7 volts, all right? So, so for example, I have this guy here. This is a 20 G watt meter, all right? This guy right here, um, can it, it gives you an instantaneous reading of voltage, an instantaneous reading of current usage right now, and then it gives you a cumulative. Um, it gets it gives you a cumulative um, capacity. So it tells you either in watts or in amp hours how many um, energy you have consumed from your battery pack. All right, um, and it also it also tells you the peak peak discharge rate and peak um, and then and then. Uh, what's the sack of your battery? So how much voltage you have had drop um, do, during during the time you've used it? And I used this a lot at the beginning just to figure it out. You know, if I was using enough, uh, how much energy I was using for my rights. But I, I figured that for my case, I'm using about um, you know because I pedal. I'm using about between four point four and point six amp hours per mile. So you can figure out essentially how many you know like with with this guy. I have about what, you know, four, that's 10 per mile. So 10, so so, so let's say, it's, let's assume it's 0.6, right? So um, 0.6 amp per hour. So 10, I can run 10 miles with this guy pedaling and I, I, I've consumed about six amp hours. And you never want to consume, um, you, what, with these guys, what you want to do is you want to consume only about 80% of the capacity. So if you have a 10 amp hour battery, you want to consume only 8 amp hours. You never want to go above 8 amp hours because then you're over discharging the battery and they're going to last a lot, lot, lot less. You know, these guys have, you know, two and a half years, you know, about, you know, more than, than a thousand cycles and they're still going strong. Um, and and inside they I have no no problems whatsoever. Um, so you know the range if if you calculate 0 0.6 miles and you divide that 0 0.6 0 0.6 amp hours per mile and then you divide that by um, the total capacity of this battery which is um, um, 10 amp hours but you only want to use 80 percent so 8 amp hours and then you can figure out that you have about a 13 mile range. Uh, so then you can plan whether you need to take the charger with you to charge in between rides or if you can have a full ride back, you know, from and back home. Um, and that's about it, man. I, I think, I hope it helps and uh, let me know, send me an email.